Previously, I have talked about um, how to set up facial rig using the uh, auto facial rig tool. Here, I'm showing uh, another example that has uh, integrated the facial rig into the body rig. The nodes that you can see in this purple group are the ones that uh, you have seen from previous example. These are the facial rigging uh, setup. And with a little bit of more work, that I integrated this into the body rig. Basically, for the body rig, you can find the body rig uh, assets on allboat.com. So basically, you have this uh, main CAFFX bare pad auto rig tool which is a uh, asset i have uh, another tutorial for how to set up the body rig okay if you are interested you can take a look at the video basically after you have set up this uh, your character can be animated now i'm going to focus on the facial part in order to constrain the facial controls to the head so that uh, when the character moves the control will follow the head along. This is using the second input of the facial combined control node. Uh, the first input, of course, is the rest skeleton. And the second one is the anim skeleton. And if you don't have any input for second uh, skeleton, this combined control will be just static. And you may wonder which joint is following. Uh, it's following the head joint of the uh, body rig. This uh, switch node, is for uh, in case I don't want to constrain the control to the body, I can just switch to a uh, now object for the second input. Nothing can see there. All right, uh, with this setup, actually, you know, you can work on the full body rig. Of course, after you finish animate the body movements, in this case, then you can you can work on the facial expression. Say, for example, I want to move the eyes. Then, if you want to go back to work on the body again, you can go here, select the body rig. Say I want to rotate the head a little bit uh, towards this side and when you come here, the rig will follow the new head rotation. And uh, we know that the end result for the facial setup here is the deformed face geometry. Then the technique that I use to integrate the face deformation into the main body is that uh, I use a Blend shape actually for this this is for the usual body capture by harmony capture paint and join the form but before the join the form actually i inserted a blend shape node to actually apply the facial animation to the body geometry which consists of the whole body then we'll join the form the body so this is happening before that and this blend shape very simple i will just need to specify what are the groups that are going to deform because on the face rigging uh, part i'm just uh, deforming the, the upper lower teeth the tongue and the head and eyes groups and this blend shape leave it as one that will take full effects from the facial and apply to the body geometry before it was deformed by the body skeleton. Of course, the other thing to note is that uh, when you do the body rigging, when you paint the skeleton uh, weight for the head, let me display this note. For the head, okay, let me turn off the display. Yeah, it should pretty much have a full weight on the head. The head joint should have a weight on um, the eyes the, the teeth the tongue and this area and slowly blend into uh, the, the neck so the head joint will control all this red area fully then its facial expression is controlled by this blend shape which will take the data from uh, this facial expression before the body geometry is uh, deformed by the body joints the way to deform the eyelashes is the same then in the end, you have this uh, full body animation combined with uh, the facial expression. So that's how I uh, set up everything. As for the loading speed for the body auto rig node and the facial combined controls, when you first select those nodes, it will take a while to cook. Once they are cooked, you can switch between these two nodes quickly. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.